our friend, good friend of this show, and we will miss talking to her on this show, but we'll stay in touch with her for sure. And that's Penny Nance. She's the president and CEO of Concerned Women for America. She's the author of Feisty and Feminine, a new book, a rallying cry for conservative women. Feisty and Feminine. Easy to remember that. Hi, Penny. Yes, I can't believe tomorrow's the last day. How can this be true? Oh, it's true. But, uh, you know, we'll survive. We'll come in other forms. We're going to miss you know. hearing you every morning, but certainly want to stay in touch. And thank you so much for the great work you've done. Well, same to you, and uh, it's been our pleasure, a pleasure to work with you hand-in-hand on a number of things. That's good. Tell us about Feisty and Feminine. Are you Feisty and Feminine? I would say so. <laughs> Sometimes more than others. Okay. <laughs> uh, first thing this morning, I'm not so sure. Uh, you know, this book is born out of an experience that I had in a work event for my husband, and I'm using air quotes, a holiday party. Um, and which I got a little taste of what women around the country, I think, are subjected to every day. And that is the fact that even though we're led to believe as conservatives we need to be careful, we need to walk on eggshells on some of these more controversial issues, the left didn't get that memo. <laughs> and so we're left thinking, yeah. oh, you know, I can't talk about that. I can't. And so you've got a whole group of women, I realized, because I felt this way. I came home from, a, from an event feeling like, angry, you know, and hurt. Like, yeah, why? how did these people feel free to denigrate my beliefs? They didn't even know who I was. It was not like they were picking on me because I was head of a conservative organization. They didn't know me. Well, what were they so denigrating? I wrote this book. What were they denigrating? Or, I'm sorry? What were they denigrating? They were denigrating. This is funny. It was something really simple, but it was basically code. The fact that my daughter who's now in college at Liberty University, wants to work, wants to grow up one day and work for Fox News. Uh -huh. And they blew wow. a gasket. Fox News. Yeah. Fox News. Uh -huh. Fox News. Do you, and the, and the one dad leans in conspiratorial and says, are you okay with this career choice? Wow. And my husband says, well, yeah, that's what we watch at our house. <laughs> and they're like, oh, now they got it. And they're yeah. like, oh. Yeah. You know, and so they didn't go pretty mild. There. That's pretty mild. It's not exactly a, a statement of uh, right-wing principle. Right, right. Yeah, it's I wasn't just... bringing up the abortion issue, you know, or marriage. I, I just, we just happened to it. But this is, I think, and, I, and I've heard since, and very typical and much, much worse. And so I came home thinking, if I'm, if I'm dealing with this, if people feel so free, and it, and it did kind of, and I talk about the whole story in the book, it Good. evolved. But if they feel comfortable with me, and I felt out of place and uncomfortable, how do women around this country and men yeah. feel when they're put in this situation? And so I decided, look, why, do, why have we been somehow cowed? Why have we been told that we can't speak up and defend our beliefs? And, and sometimes I've realized it's because we just don't necessarily have the data that we need. We don't feel equipped. Yeah. So yeah. that's what this book is for. It's Good. to equip Good. women around the country on the hard issues um, so that Good. they have they have good stats, they have good stories. And I share a lot. I'm very transparent in this book with some of the hard things I've dealt with in my life, and I hope it's helpful and instructive. Good. Well, we will look for it, feisty and feminine. Last thing I get, well, maybe one reason for hesitation here, Penny, is um, you know because there's a special place in hell for women who don't support Hillary. Oh, yeah. Is that Oh yes, yes we what are. What about this women and Hillary? Do you take any any uh, hope or encouragement from the fact that so many young women are not supporting Hillary? 